I know what you're thinking. Flip front helmets. They're designed for people who ride BMW i1200s only on the road or Rosper trainers or police riders. Well, Italian manufacturers AGV are up in the ante and making them all a bit stylish. This is full 100% carbon. Flip front, 590 quid's worth. I've been riding in it for about four or five weeks, covered a thousand miles of all temperatures. I'm gonna tell you all about it. So having ridden in the Sport Modular for around about a thousand miles now, and that covers all weather bases by the way, from 3 degrees up the M6 to Coventry to 23 degrees in Gran Canaria riding on the Ducati Multistrada launch. The helmet is exceptional, it, it really is, and I didn't think I'd be sitting there saying that I'm a fan of a flip front helmet. Uh, we caught up with Max Mirabella, who's the Group Product Marketing Manager from AGV over in Italy, just before the Sport Modular was launched at the Milan show. Here's what Max had to say. The main reason why we found people like Modulars is because they like to have the, the solidity of a full face helmet, but they want to have the practicality of a jet. Uh, they also like something that is very comfortable, that is very quiet. The downside of that choice is that they're willing to accept an oversized, heavy helmet. Some people just don't want to accept that oversized, heavy helmet. They want to have the solidity of a full face, so that's why they pick a full face. But they want to have it light, compact, and sporting the design and the perfect helmet for today bikes will be a helmet that has the safety of a full face, the comfort of a model, and it's compact, quiet, and sporty. So we created it. And that has been like a, a nightmare to create it, a long project, but we came up with it and we call it Sport Modular. Because it's so light, it's, one, it's about 1.3 kilos, uh, which is a lot lighter than any of its competitors. Actually, a lot lighter than some of the other full-face helmets on the market. And that makes it really comfortable, because you're not getting that extra weight, and you, know, you can move around a lot more. It's nice and snug across the jawline without being too compressed on the cheeks like a, you know, a snug-fitting sports helmet would be. And so while it makes you look like a bit of a hamster when you've got the flip part of it up, that is really comfortable. The chin guard protects you from wind. It's, again, it fits nicely underneath your chin there. The only thing I'd say is you've got to be careful when you're putting the flip part down, because that can work loose. Standard D-ring fastening. The inside part underneath is, uh, is reversible, so if you find yourself in warm temperatures or equally cooler temperatures, it's sort of a, what they call a warmer side and a colder side. And once, once you've got the flip front down, you've also got the sun mechanism, sun visor mechanism underneath. You just simply slide back, and you've got the sun visor down, slide up, and it's gone again. The visor system has got a very large panoramic view. You see, you're seeing a, a, a big dimension around you. It's also got the pin lock system, so the 120 system, so that's the maximum uh, that pin lock make. Normally it's a 70, which refers to the amount of seconds you've got until it kind of starts to fog a little bit. So this is the 120 system. The sun visor, of course, doesn't have the pin lock system, so it tends to uh, fog a little bit. Vent wise, there's one on the front, slide it down, slide it up. One on the top, slide it back, slide it forwards. And then on the back of the helmet, you've got a spoiler, which pops up and pops down. There's also quite a neat touch actually along the, the, the base here as well. So you've got your, what do you call the exhaust for the wind ventilation. And you've got uh, this nice little lip here. So if the rain does come down, it doesn't go straight down your neck, it's kind of flicks off. Um, one other thing to mention as well is the, the while it's comfortable and there's a lot of space in there, it's not particularly noisy. I mean, if you're going to do big miles above or consistently above 50 miles an hour, then I would certainly recommend uh, earplugs. But actually, it's a really nice fit around your ears. There's plenty of room. In fact, the inserts can come out and you can get an intercom system in there too. So yeah, it um, ticks a lot of boxes. £595 on the shelf uh, for this version. There's uh, five other versions, five other colour schemes. We go up to about £670. Uh, it's a lot of money, but it's a cracking helmet and it's, and it's an all singing, all dancing, covers all the bases. All in one, ADV. Mm -hmm.